Next is integrate Facebook into the entire customer experience. Facebook and social media are no longer a department. They go across your entire company. PR, marketing, customer service, operations, sales, senior level management, CEO, everyone needs to be integrated with Facebook and social media. And every channel can be integrated with Facebook and social media. Let's give away our next prize, Mike, another autographed book for the, of the person that can tell me how many on, t- on Twitter, use, again, use hashtag Awareness Inc. That's the pound symbol and then Awareness, A-W-A-R-E-N-E-S-S-I-N-C, Awareness Inc. Tell me within one million how many fans of Oreo there are out there. Within one million, how many fans of Oreo are out there on Facebook? How many likes does Oreo have? And I don't know if you know the answer to this, Mike, so you might not know the first person to say it. So um, in just a moment, yeah, so in just a moment, I will share the answer, and then hopefully someone will be within a million, the first person within a million. And if not, we can just go with the closest person when I announce it. How's that? Sounds good to me. So what Oreo does is on every single package, it says, dunk or don't, which side are you on? Tell us at Facebook.com slash Oreo. That's really, really different from like us on Facebook. And it's even more different than the Facebook icon that I see everywhere. Who cares if you have a Facebook icon? What's in it for me? This is a clear call to action that drives people to share and interact, and it's led to, drumroll, 21 million likes. 21 million likes. Wow. We have a winner, we have a winner Boston, Mike? At Don Garden is the winner. All right, congratulations. Good work. We'll get you an autographed book. 21 million likes. And over here on the left of the slide, you see the very, very little-known text-to-like call to action so you can text like space museum of making music to facebook short code 32665 to automatically like this page from a from your phone anywhere in the world that's pretty amazing imagine you have you have a, a sports sponsorship whether it's a big brand with a major league baseball stadium or a local restaurant with a little league sponsorship doesn't matter when you have your 30 seconds of time on the scoreboard or on the, on the PA announcement, imagine saying, everyone take out your phones, and we're going to be doing a contest later this week, but in order to be eligible for that contest, you've got to text like, space, my business to F-B-O-O-K right now. Imagine how many likes you could drive and how much excitement you could drive just from something like that. Next is use Facebook ads for greater impact. Um, I'm not a huge fan of linear advertising, but I am a huge fan of search advertising, and I am a huge fan of Facebook advertising. Facebook has the best targeting mechanism ever. So in, instead of just targeting um, men 25 to 34 or women 18 plus or seniors 55 plus, you can target people that are into social media if you're a social media agency like me. Or if you're a Chinese food restaurant in Cleveland, you can target people that like Chinese food and live within 10 miles of Cleveland. Or if you're an an architecture firm and you're looking to hire new architects, you can target architects. Or maybe you're a real estate development company and and you, you want to reach out to architects, you can target them. Or maybe you're in the B2B space and you want to reach out to CEOs and CMOs, you can target them using Facebook's ad platform. But it gets even better than that. Um, Facebook has these ads called Friends of Connections ads. So you can target the people that are friends with the people that already like you. And the amazing thing is about these ads is inside the ad, it tells you which of your friends like that, like, like your company. So let me show you this. Let me show you an example of this ad. So this is an example of an ad I did targeting social media folks. Um, And this on the right is an example of uh, an ad from Ford that my assistant saw. Um, Doug, Ford spokesperson. Hello there. I'm Doug, the Ford spokespuppet. Please like me. I like you in a web sense that is. Dave Kirpin likes this. So all of my friends saw 
Dave Kerbin likes this. The average person uh, has 130 friends on Facebook. So if you have a million fans, if you're a big brand, and you run one of these ads, 130 million people will see your ads with their friends' names endorsing you in the ad. And if you're a really small business and you only have 100 fans and you run an ad like this, 13,000 people will be exposed to your business seeing that your friends like this. And just to put this in perspective, I know this is a little silly, but imagine you're watching a TV commercial and in the upper right hand in the upper right hand corner of the TV commercial is a picture of your friend saying, I love this car, go check it out. Or you're listening to the radio and in the end of the radio spot for the furniture store you hear three of your friends, including Dave, like this furniture store. That would be like amazing and mind blowing. And yet that's possible using Facebook ads. And then there's nano targeting. So I took out an ad targeting married female employees of likable that are 34 years old. The ad said, I love you, Carrie. My wife of the 600 million people on Facebook was the only person in the world that saw that ad. And that may be silly, but maybe there is a CEO or two that you want to reach. The idea is, you know, in, in, the, in, in the social network movie, um, he says, you know, a, a million, you know, a million dollars isn't cool. You know what's cool? A billion dollars. Well, 600 million fans isn't cool. You know what's cool? 60 or 600. The fans that you want to reach, the customers that you want to reach. It doesn't matter if you reach 600 million people. It matters if you reach the right people based on all that targeting. We have three more left, and I know we want to leave a little bit of time for questions in the end. Um, Thirteen, admit when you screw up and leverage your mistakes. Again, the biggest words in social media are, I'm sorry. And if you say you're sorry right away and you say it in a real, vulnerable, authentic way, your customers will forgive you. They really will. This is a screenshot of Loft. Loft shared pictures of a new line. And they were all skinny models, super skinny models wearing the line. And people complained on their Facebook page. So the next day, Loft apologized. And then they shared pictures of real people, all of their employees, whatever their size, wearing the pants. Not only did that bring the loyalty back, but it actually earned them, earned, earned them lots of uh, a PR attention. So they, they made a mistake, but then they leveraged it. They said sorry, and they made it even better than it was before. Consistently deliver excitement, surprise, and delight. This is a business principle as much as anything else, but the difference is when you deliver surprise and delight to a customer offline, mm, it's nice. It's a great thing to do. When you deliver surprise and delight to a customer in the social media landscape, millions of people can see it or thousands of people can see it. It can spread really, really quickly. We did a promotion with uh, Cumberland Farms Chill Zone. We had 30,000 fans. We said to them, if you guys can get to 75,000 fans, we're going to give you a free Chill Zone. Everyone, every single fan. Chill Zone is only 79 cents. So Cumberland Farms just wanted to drive traffic into their stores. Well, they not only got to 75,000 fans, they got to 100,000 fans. And so, of course, Cumberland Farms gave them the free Chill Zones. And a lot of people showed up for the free Chill Zones. And then they bought a lot of other stuff, too, of course. And here's one more example of a Popcorners um, gives away, delivers products to people that are tweeting Feed Me Popcorners on Twitter. So if you tweet, tweet Feed Me Popcorners in the New York City area or in whatever area they share on Facebook and Twitter, they might just show up with their truck at your office and deliver a Popcorners product to your entire office. And last but not least, don't sell. Just make it easy and compelling for customers to buy. That's a tough one. We all want to sell. At the end of the day, that's what it's all about. It's driving business results. But the way that we get there in social media isn't by selling. It's by following all these principles. And then at the end of the, at the, end of, uh, of the funnel, making it easy and compelling for customers to buy. So the fact that 1-800-Flowers has a shop tab right on their Facebook page means that it's easy now to buy flowers on Facebook. So you don't have to go to 1-800-Flowers.com. And that's a good thing. 
just like 1-800-Flowers won because they were the first to a 1-800 number, just like they won because they were the first to a .com, they're going to win because they are the first and smartest at social media. This sales funnel, as you can see, is a little bit longer. It starts with awareness, and I, that's, that's all, always in my deck, Mike, so I did not put that in. <laughs> I love that. I think it's great. And then education, but unlike the traditional model, this makes it longer. There's this engagement. There's this likability piece. So it's a longer funnel, but eventually, if you work it right, not only do you get to sales, but you get to the repeat engagement, which can lead to even more sales. 